Hi, my name is Jordan Briggs, and today I'm going to show you how I get my colts from uh, like two-year-old stages to then going on the barrels and um, what I like them to do before I start them on the barrels. Um, my husband ropes off of our colts as like three-year-olds. We do poles on them. Um, we ride out in the pasture a lot. Uh, we gather cows, everything like that. So. Um, we don't ride in the arena all the time. There's a lot of things that they learn doing other things, so we don't have to drill them so much. But um, this is some of the stuff that I like that we do, do it, roping, cat, getting the cattle, riding in the pasture, all that stuff. This is what they learn. So main thing is, I, you know, I, again, I don't like to pull on my horses too much. I don't like to use my hands very much. So one of my main things I like to have is when I'm just warming my horse up, I like to be able to, whoa, melt in my seat and they sit without my hands. My husband says, sit, one, two. Sit for two seconds in your seat before you go to your hands. And that'll teach him to just sit instantly on your seat. Um, second thing I like to do is I like to be able to kind of high lope and push my horse off and kind of go around and then whoa, sit and get him right back into a collected lope, push him off, sit, get him right into to a collected lope or transitions to a lope, to a trot, to a stop. I don't like to stop my horses just strictly out of a lope. Um, I like my horse's shoulders to move around. I'm not a person that's going to like bend one a lot and bring them here because I think that pushes that weight in that outside shoulder. So I want them to be moving the shoulders around like this with not very much bend. So when I do come here, their shoulder comes along with it. Then of course, you know, lots of horses, barrel horses do not know how to back up. So, and maybe they do need to know how to back up, but there is a correct way to backing up to help you with all of your brokenness along into the future. So again, don't pull hard, sit, squeeze with your legs, maybe smooch and see, feel that horse tuck its nose, arch its back, and pick up its legs. If you feel like you're just pulling really hard and that horse is just dragging its feet back, you aren't teaching it anything. Um, this is where he moves his feet, he engages his hind end, and picks up his shoulders. Um, also on the face, um, just again, everything is about balance. Um, I don't want, I don't want their nose tucked to their chest and I don't want them possibly hitting me in the face. I just want them as balanced as they are built. And um, I think as long as you have a balance in everything um, of their weight distribution, crud. Okay. okay. As long as you have a balance in everything and proper weight distribution. Distribution. I forgot how to say that for a second. Okay, what did I say? As long as you have balance and proper weight distribution. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, as long as you have balance and proper weight distribution. <sighs> I'm so sorry. No. <laughs> I can't say it. Okay, how can I say something else? This carriage? weight carriage. Okay, yeah, because I'm not going to get it now that I've messed it up several times. <laughs> okay, as long as you have a balance throughout your horse from side to side and forward to back, um, you sh your horse should be broke enough to do the barrels. But to get those, to get balance from front to back and side to side, um, that goes into a whole other tough thing that barrel racers really hate to do.